Hi guys, welcome back to the Generation Strength YouTube. As promised and advertised, new videos every Friday. Cordy, if you're watching this. All right, so last week I talked about refining your setup for the sumo deadlift and all the things that come with that. Uh, you probably heard me. You probably heard me talking about the rasp extension at this point and how important that is for the sumo setup and conventional. It's very important for your, your deadlift setup in general, regardless of what stance you pull. So kind of tying a lot of things together here. Uh, last week I talked about setup. Going forward, I want to talk about things we can do outside of the barbell work to strengthen those positions. So in terms of powerlifting training, we don't really want to focus too much on training individual isolated mu uh, muscles. We want to focus on strengthening positions. So the things that we're doing away from the barbell should have some good carryover to what we're doing at the barbell. So today, I'm going to show you guys three movements that I really like to do, really like to utilize in my training as well as my clients to strengthen thoracic extension. Guys, so this is going to be a long time favorite of mine. This is going to be a seated SSB good morning. Uh, you can do this movement with or without bands. I like to do it with bands. I think it's a lot better to do so uh, because if we do this movement without bands, the hardest point of the exercise is going to be towards the bottom. And we're talking about thoracic extension and a deadlift. This is the position I want to hold. So if I attach the bands onto this movement, it's going to force me to maintain that tension at the top of the movement, which is going to help us reinforce that position when we go back to the barbell. So a little bit different than a typical good morning. A lot of good morning variations. You'll see that we try to maintain a straight back the entire time. But with this, we're really just focusing on rounding and unrounding the mid to upper back. So this is gonna be more of an upper back focused good morning as opposed to a straight back that you see like this. We're gonna come down here like this and we're just gonna focus on rounding as much as we can coming down. Extend the upper back hard coming back up. And I'm gonna hold this position here against the band tension. So like I said earlier, if I didn't have the bands here, this would be a pretty relaxed position for me. Wouldn't be too difficult to hold this here. But with the bands pulling me forward, I have to work to maintain that extension in my upper back and to maintain that upright posture, really similar to if I was in a deadlift start position, right? So we're training positions, not muscles. So one more time, I'm gonna round the upper back, extend hard. So this next movement is gonna be a wall supported sandbag good morning. So similar concept to the seated good morning. We're gonna be focusing on rounding and unrounding the upper back here. I would consider this kind of a step up from the seated good morning because we are on our feet. We are using the wall for support, but we're gonna to have to work really hard to make sure that we're not cheating by using our legs to complete the movement. I only want us using the extension and our upper back to complete the movement here. So quick little demo for you guys. This is a 100 pound sandbag and this makes this movement really, really difficult for me. So a uh, medicine ball works great too that you can hold to your chest, 20, 30 pounds. It's not hard to make this movement difficult. So here, go round over, extend, round over, extend. So pretty simple. This last movement of the day is going to be a segmented Kelso stroke. So we're gonna actually be combining a couple of important things here for our deadlift. We're gonna be doing, of course, the extension and flexion that we've already been talking about today, right? Unrounding the upper back, getting nice and tall. And we're actually gonna be talking about packing the lats down. So both very important concepts in our deadlift setup. So <clears throat> unlike a traditional Kelso shrug, where we're just gonna be hanging on the bench here, and I'm gonna be focused on packing my lats down, packing my scaps down in my back pocket as hard as I can and holding, we're gonna add an extension component to it. So I'm gonna hang up a little bit higher on the bench here. I'm gonna make sure my boobies are hanging off the bench. I'm gonna focus on rounding over the bench as much as I can, right? See how I'm in a rounded position, just like all the other exercises we've been doing today. I'm gonna to extend hard and come up, and I'm gonna hold, and then I'm gonna Depress my shoulders, pack my lats down, come back forward, round, extend and hold, pull back, hold, forward, down, there you go. 
right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, keep, keep watching because we're going to keep posting videos every Friday. Next week, this mysterious cutie behind me and me, of course, are going to film a non-gym related video. First person to guess who this person is gets a free subscription to our YouTube channel.